what is up guys today I wanted to make a video about some of my retro consoles that I own all right I own a fairly decent amount of retro consoles um I'm not gonna say I'm like the queen of retro consoles because I definitely am missing some and oh my god it's the cardinal sin um, but I got a really, really good deal on that, so had to do it. Okay, yeah, so some of these aren't exactly retro. Sorry about that. But we're gonna go upstairs and we are gonna actually look at um, my retro console collection. And I want you guys to see um, a lot of the stuff that I do own because I think you'll appreciate it. So um, one thing I will say is that you aren't gonna see my Ataris out because this one, the RF, output is broken um, and the other one I put away uh, because I put another console in its place so they the this one doesn't work but my 800 XE does work and it works really well I do have my games up there and I will show you guys that all right let's get it started okay guys and here we are now if we go down here, we'll get into the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, including all imports that I have, and then my Atari collection. So I only had games that could play on like the 400 and up. Um, well, actually, I think these right here, there's a couple of... Uh, what are those, 50, 200, 2600 maybe? I think those might be 2600 actually. Anyways, um, so I grew up, like the first Atari that I ever played on was an Atari 400. My neighbors had a 2600 that we would all go over there and play on. Um, but my dad used to use a 400 and he had like the disc drive and all that. And that was my first experience playing games at home. I have a fairly decent collection of carts and um, I do play them from time to time, believe it or not. But these are my PlayStation games again. And then PS2, not as big of a collection, but got some goodies in there. All right, and then moving on, here's kind of my setup. I've got the CRT, mainly hooked up to the 8-bit systems, and my Saturn. And then I've got this little guy right here. And this one is, is more for my GameCube N64. Um, it actually runs my Super Famicom PS2. PlayStation and Jaguar. If you look back here, it has got a monumental amount of areas to plug in consoles. So my PS2 runs off of composite. Uh, these are RCA, RCA, RCA. And this is actually, it has an HDMI adapter on it. Um, RCA and RCA and oh I love this it's one of my favorites and then I have the FX pack crucial and then I've got a Wii U um, a lot of people hate it on the Wii U um, but there's some games for it that are just really cool even if it's like two or three and then I've got my Famicom disk system and my NES so for me these are all key systems key consoles that I played growing up 
um, with the exception of this actually, surprise, surprise, I got this later on because um, I was in the military and I just didn't, I never got it because I was on deployment or working or whatever. So anyways, I have it now. And let's check out some of the games I have over here. My NES collection is not huge, um, but I have a lot of games that I like. And then back here, we've got another copy of Zelda, which doesn't save. Um, it is what it is. My Sega Saturn, and I've got the cart back here. That's the Ram cart. Dreamcast 360, which I actually got while I was in the military, um, before I ever deployed or anything. Uh, and then up here, we've got Game Boy and Game and & Watch. Um, these are really cool, but I was actually like not, the screens are so small that I'm just like, mm, I don't know. But they're cool, I, I hang on to them. Anyways, here's a, a custom Game Boy Pocket. Okay, so my Game Boy Pocket is this little bad boy. And the screen is lit, sorry. And it looks really cool, right? Um, but it's basically a custom shell with a front lit screen and to be honest, my eyesight isn't that great, so I need um, I need light. Here's my 3DS collection, and I won't go over everyone, but I'll just kind of flip through here. You guys can see. Um, and not all of my games are in there, most of them are. And then here's some of my DS collection. And then this is my 3DS. I love this one. It's the last one that they made as far as like models. It's the XL, the new XL, and it's got, it's all white and it's got those, you know, blue, red, yellow, green buttons. What is it? Super Famicom colors. Um, Game Boy Advance SP. Okay. We've got tons of games in here. You bet I got Castlevania in there and um, so obviously the SP was the best one in my opinion um, because of the screen and then in here is my Game Boy collection. This is a really fun one. Okay and my Game Boy is a custom DMG. So that kind of sums it up for those handhelds. Okay, and last thing I wanna say about Game Boy stuff is I actually have a ton of boxes for the games. Um, they're just in like a plastic tub downstairs cause I like don't really see any point in displaying them up here. Um, but I do have them. So here I've got Sega Saturn, and then a couple more PlayStation games and then a ton of PlayStation demo discs. And then up here, Dreamcast. And Dreamcast. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, Wii U, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. And here's some cool ones. Game & Watch, Super Mario Bros. All right, I was obsessed with that in the mid 80s. And then um, the Donkey Kong watch. I got that in a Kellogg's cereal box. Well, I think it was like an order in one of those ones that you have to mail in order, you know. And then this is my what is this called? Oh, switch. Yeah, this is my switch collection. Um, here's a really cool one, which I actually own on Dreamcast as well. I got it when it first came out. Um, I'm pretty sure it was over there. You guys saw it. But anyways, here's all my games for Switch, or at least most of them, I think. And then we get into Wii U, and that's literally my Wii U collection right there. 
It's not extensive, but it does have the ones that I like. And then we, and more we, we. And then my GameCube games. And there's a couple behind there. I'm not gonna pull them out. And then N64 and Super Famicom. Now I do have um, the N64, the Ultra, whatever it's called. I'll get down to it in a second. And these are all N64 games. So these are all N64 games. And then I've got a few Famicom carts. Um, but I honestly have more of the disc system games for that. So, yeah, and then Super Famicom and Super Nintendo. Now, if we go back up here, you're going to see right here, this is one of my favorites, Far East of Eden Zero, but it's got the full English translation on the cartridge, which is super sick because this is such a good game. It's so cool, it's really unique. Um, some people love it, some people hate it, but it's like most RPGs. Over here, I've got 3DS and DS um, games, which you guys saw in the cases. I think there's a few of these that actually have the game in the case. And then down here, I've got Jaguar. I actually only have um, two games for the Jaguar, which is Doom and that Xenon 2, which came out way later on. It came out way later on. Um, actually, I think within like the last three years. And I sold most of my other Jag games just because I have the game drive. And as long as I'm playing the game on the original hardware, I love it. Now, don't get me wrong. I love emulation, too. I think emulation is awesome. Um, however, I would prefer to play the games on the original hardware if I have a choice. So that is why I keep most of my consoles because I love the original hardware. Anyways, that's it for upstairs. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer. We're going to go downstairs now, and I'm going to tie up the last few consoles that I have down there. Okay, so here's the Flashback 9. My PS5 Switch. Um, obviously not retro consoles, but then under here I've got my PSP and PS. Vitas. So um, those are kind of like my other consoles that are quote unquote retro. Uh, and then my PSP games, that's the extent of my PSP collection. But I've got some good ones in here. And then PS4, PS5. So yeah, that about wraps it up. Um, I did have a I did have a PC Engine, um, which I recently got rid of. And the reason why is because for some reason that is one of the consoles that I actually just play more on emulation. And I'm kind of like, like I just, I'm not gonna like keep something when I'm not using it. If I don't use it like at all, then I just, I don't, I don't keep it. So this, that one and Genesis are the two, like I've, I've really been on the border of getting another Genesis, but when I lost mine, like basically, basically funny story. When I was a kid, my stepmom gave away my Genesis to my friend and all of my games with it. And I was just kind of like, Wow. And I had like all the best games. And after that, I was just over it. I was just like, I don't want to get another one. So, 
Um, but yeah, that's it. So everything else is pretty much in hand um, all the way back to Atari. So let me know what you guys think um, and like what some of your opinions are on the the retro gaming scene and stuff like that. It's funny because it's called retro gaming or whatever, but to me, it's just like gaming. Like, I mean, all the stuff that we do videos about and, and stuff like that, to me, it's just talking about a lot of the nostalgia and the little things that people knew about from, you know, that period of time when that's what gaming was. So I don't really like actually picture it as retro gaming. I just frame it that way because it's how everybody understands it. It's, it's in context. Anyways, I did get something cool in the mail today for my arcade area in the game room. And I do want to show you guys my multi-cab, which I have in the garage, which is a full-size build um, with a tank stick. And it's actually being renovated right now, but um, I will do a full video on it and, and go over that with you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and leave a comment down below and let's discuss.